Hey everyone, it's Kerbinite, bring you another V Premium match from our local tournament. Uh, on the left, we do actually have my teammate Ryuki playing his Regalia deck. So now he actually was able to uh, top in V Premium using this Regalia deck in the um, BCS 2022 in Anaheim. Um, he actually managed to fight his way through a, an entire sea of steam maidens during the tier zero meta um and speaking of team steam maidens uh that is actually what his opponent is going to be playing on the right uh so we do see him starting off with that arctic um getting to soul uh check the top two cards deck uh placing one into the soul and then check leaving the other on the top i believe um and for going into steam maidens looks like we are actually going to be seeing a lost gear dog eight which I think is a little bit odd. I think he said that his build was not complete yet. Um, he's still missing a couple cards. So apologies if the if you if his deck is not like the most optimized build. I'm not entirely sure of how uh, Steam Maidens are usually built. I do have some knowledge of how they work. So I'll be doing my best to uh, give that input. Anyways, we are going to be seeing the Anglisa, uh, the card that's usually used in premium. Um, revealed for the eight gear dog eights um skill um actually adding uh, what's it called elu the the grade three that we usually use in v premium um and adding it to the hand discarding the iglisa um actually calling down a gear cat and adding an elu uh to the hand off of the top three uh drive checking that entaria which is Definitely one of the problem cards of not just the V format, but actually the premium format as well. Anyways, uh, going back to Ryuki, he is going to be riding into that Luri. Um, not going to say the rest of that name. Anyways, he's actually going to be counterblasting one, checking top five, uh, actually getting a Regalia and probably one of the best ones you could get, um, that Yggdrasil and being able to Divine Gauge it. Um, so all of the units that have a Divine Gauge are actually going to be getting boosts, including that Yggdrasil. And we are going to be seeing a Thrud as well as an Artemis come on down. Uh, that thread is going to be swinging it's actually going to be hitting um hitting into a heal trigger unfortunately uh it doesn't go off but that is still defensive so this um Luri, the vanguard swing is going to be a one to pass uh so now you do see that artemis it's and it's already starting to stack up um some divine gauge and i will say that that artemis is definitely a huge reason why uh regalias were able to compete in the tier zero steam maiden meta uh, I know Ryuki told me a whole bunch of stories of how his Artemis got like three or four Divine Gauges and then it basically was able to uh, clean up Steam Maidens um, in a single turn. But as we can see there, the Artemis does have a skill that whenever it hits, you can actually put a Divine Gauge on it uh, from your soul. Uh, so it can honestly just get out of control like insanely quickly um, because the it gains extra 1000 for every Divine Gauge it has. Um, and that is during both players turns, meaning that it's a very difficult card to attack over and you really do have to remove it. And honestly, going into this next turn uh, for Steam Maidens, this is the only opportunity that he really has to get rid of this Artemis. If he doesn't um, get rid of it right now, it's really going to be just sticking for the rest of the game. Because in case you don't know, a lot of the grade 3 regalias um, offer protection to all of your regards that have divine gauges. Um, some of them can't be moved, some of them can't be affected. Um, but basically, they're immune to everything, no matter what grade 3 you're on. Uh, there are exceptions, but for the most part, it's true. Anyways, we are going to be seeing the Anteria being ridden and another one called down to the other rearguard circle. Um, calling out two geared cats and getting two more cards off it. Um, I did miss which other card he got before, um, but we are seeing another gear cat being procced here. And checking that top two cards of the deck, or the top three, excuse me, uh, adding a Steam Maiden to the hand, which is honestly just uh, insanely good. Uh, it's just like w uh, one card that combos with itself and is a plus three. It's just way too insane right now, at least. Um, actually, me adding an Uluru um, off that gear cat. Um, at, on one hand, it is kind of it is kind of terrible to like lose a heal from deck, but at the same time, uh, Steam Maidens do actually need the grade zero um, in order to basically climb up the chain. So you go from zero to one to two to three, and uh, eventually to four if you can manage it. So actually, getting that Uluru out of the deck is not a big problem. And that card on the left side is actually going to be something called a Kuruda. Um, 
it doesn't really matter what it does, um, just because he's not going to be using the skill. Anyways, uh, just using that, um, oh god, whose skill is it? Is it? I think it's an Entrada skill to Soul Blast one, checking that top two, binding another Entrada, and adding the other one to the hand. Um, going to be swinging with the other Entrada, and actually hitting a critical trigger. Um, so normally you'd be in a pretty big pinch if you were at 4 damage against Steam Maidens already. Um, but since you are Regalias, you actually do, uh, value that Counter Blast. Because Regalias go through a ton of Counter Blast, as we're going to be see going into this next turn. Uh, we're using the Yggdrasil skill to Counter Blast 1, calling out the Norn from the skill. And I believe we do get to a Divine Gadget as well. And looks like we are going to be calling out the Skull, going to be, which is our grade 3 searcher, actually hitting an Yggdrasil off the top. So that's definitely pretty nice. Um, just discarding, deciding on the discard. So it's just going to be a grade 2 that we're discarding. Uh, going to be proccing that Norn skill, drawing a card, uh, Divine Gaging onto um, one of our rear guards, as well as Soul Charging 2. It looks like we're actually going to change our mind and actually stack another Divine Gauge on that Artemis. Um, calling over the Skull with a um, Yggdrasil and calling a Var there in order to uh, basically just recuperate some of your resources. Uh, using the uh, Yggdrasil skill once again, I believe. Um, actually failing to search. Um, I suppose the other uh, Norns must be either in damage zone or hand. I'm going to be using the uh, skill anyway to just divine gauge it even though we couldn't search um, divine gauging the var as well as just using its skill to retire it uh, basically discard one of its divine gauge uh, soul charge two and then retire itself to counter charge calling another norn from hand and divine gauging it with its skill um, after drawing a card uh, gonna be swinging with that angelica choosing two cards from soul and divine gauging them giving that artemis its fourth divine gauge meaning that's at a base of 50k, as well as giving another um, Divine Gauge to that Norn, swinging at the Vanguard for th two damage, getting a critical trigger there. So this is going to be a three damage attack. So Steam is gonna be taking three damage, going to five, and we are going to be seeing um, no defensives. So just gonna be using that Norn skill, um, actually restanding the Angelica, and then using Angelica's skill again to put another Divine Gauge on both the Yggdrasil and the Artemis. Meaning that Artemis now has five Divine Gauges and is sitting at a 60k base. Um, so this Angelica, I believe, is swinging for just uh, 13, 23, 33, if I'm not mistaken, just because um, we did give all effects to... Um, actually, I think we gave the crit to the Vanguard and we gave power to Yggdrasil. Um, so we are going to be swinging just 23 and looks that is going to be guarded by 30... Uh, 35 so that is going to be actually a 2-2 pass which is going to be a no pass because Norn does uh, make Angelica lose a drive check. So we're going to be checking that top card of the deck and it is going to be another critical trigger uh, stacking all the effects onto the Yggdrasil which is going to be able to restand. Um, I mean this attack alone is 28, um, 33 I believe, uh, 43 with the trigger, uh, 53 uh, with the second trigger um, which is going to be restanding, which even though Steam Maiden definitely farmed up a lot of cards in their hand during that last turn, um, you're going to be hard pressed to guard both of these attacks, considering that they're swinging for massive numbers. Uh, that's just a 53 on its own. The other one is going to be a, we said it was 60 before, so it is 78 with the boost. So you're going to have to guard 263 attacks that are double crit, as well as a 73 attack, um, coming from the uh, Artemis. So really, even though you have a ton of cards in hand, uh, those are just way too big numbers. And honestly, this is one of the dangers of just giving Regalia too much CB and basically letting them do whatever they want on their turn. Um, they can just like pump up, make huge numbers out of nowhere. And then especially if you're still on grade two, unless you have a heal guardian, you are in really big trouble as we're seeing here. So it looks like we are going to be guarding that attack with um, 
that was a lot of shield, so I'm not going to bother counting because we are just going to be swinging again with the Ictrasil, um, with I believe just 5k less. So it was what did I say 63? So it's like 58 now. Um, so that is still a really big number, uh, regardless, and it is two crit. So if you plan on living this, you kind of just uh, bank on a heal, uh, just take the Artemis attack, even though it does technically give the Artemis another divine gauge. So if you live this. Um, you're still in a really bad situation. So it looks like that second Idrisil's attack is going to be PG'd. And we're just going to be taking the Artemis and not going to be seeing that heal. Uh, so that is going to be it for the match. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to do all that YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.